this is the first time we are going to see this after 15 years so imagine it took them 15 years before sila nag-release uli nitong sapatos na to ganun katagal so for those of you who are, who've been waiting for this sneaker now is your time to buy it Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of those who subscribe on my channel. So for those who haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and please hit on the notification bell so you'll be notified on my next videos. Uh, today, we're going to check on another yellow sneaker. Uh, actually lately, I noticed that they've been releasing a lot of uh, yellow sneakers. That's why this is our third yellow sneaker that we are going to review. So the first sneaker is the Air Jordan 1 High Poland. Then the second one is the Air Jordan 1 Low Poland. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, you can watch it. I'll just put the link on the description below. So the third yellow sneaker that we are going to review today is this Air Jordan 4 Lightning. Okay, so before we start, I would like to thank my good friend Aris Romano for sending us this pair. So for those of you who are looking for sneakers, just check on his uh, Facebook account and just DM him for the pair that you like. Okay, so now let's start to check on this Air Jordan 4 Lightning. So this Air Jordan 4 Lightning was first released in 2006. It was released together with the other Jordan 4, which is the Air Jordan 4 Thunder. Uh, that is the black and yellow. But this Air Jordan 4 Thunder was retroed in 2012. Unlike this Air Jordan 4 Lightning, uh, this is the first time we are going to see this after 15 years. So imagine, it took them 15 years before sila nag-release uli nitong sapatos na to. Ganun katagal. So, for those of you who are, who've been waiting for this sneaker, now is your time to buy it. Okay, so let's check a closer look and details of this Air Jordan 4 Light. Okay, let's start with the box. The box has a yellow top with Jumpman Flight logo on top and the classic cement print at the bottom. The official colorway of this is Tour Yellow Dark Blue Gray. In front of the shoe, you have this yellow soft blue box on the toe box and toe back.
Then at the bottom and top eyelids, we have this plastic semi-translucent black color finish. The top eyelids is connected to this gray wing made up of nubak. Then we have this yellow nubak on the rest of the shoe. Then on the mid panel, we have this netting in black on the lateral and medial side of the shoe. We can also see this netting on the lower part of the tongue. Then we have this yellow lace which is more vibrant than the color of the shoe. this gray tag with white Jumpman Flight logo. Then at the back of the shoe, we have this yellow pull tab made up of Nubak and we have this gray Jumpman logo. We have a yellow sock liner and white polyurethane insole with gray Jumpman logo. Then we have this white and gray midsole and outsole and a yellow Jumpman logo at the middle of the outsole. So there we saw the entire shoe and construction of this Air Jordan 4 Lightning. Okay, so for this Air Jordan 4 Lightning, uh, if you're a fan of Jordan 4 or if you're a Jordan 4 collector, I think you must have this. Because you see, it took them 15 years before they released this Air Jordan 4 Lightning again. Uh, actually, this is really good, but I'm just really a fan of uh, Jordan 1 and the OG colorway. Uh, and what I like about this pair is the Nubak quality that they use on it and then the color combination of yellow, black, gray, and white. It's really good. So for those uh, Jordan 4 uh, fan, I think you must have this. So that's it for my review of this Air Jordan 4 Lightning. So thank you all for watching. Shout out to Pinoy Sneakerheads in Taiwan, to all the members and specialist admins, and to Master Aris Romano. Thank you so much for this pair. So, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.